It's a Herald H30, HL34 made by Hornby and it's a very valuable guitar. You can get them brand new now for £29. But this one's got a little trick all of its own. Besides the strings being absolutely black and stinking and the action being slightly high it has its own little trick. Let me just show you what that trick is. It has a little broken neck. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shove some glue in there, close it up and clamp it. And that's about all I'm going to do to it. Reduce the size of that down because the uh, saddle is very high. So let's disturb Georgie girl who's sleeping. Because she'll be here like a shot. What did I tell you? There she is, nosy knickers herself. Yeah, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? But it's not going to be for long, Georgie girl, because what I need to do is just get this guitar glued, cleaned, and played. It's for a learner guitar player. Theoretically, it should be thrown out, but as you know, I hate throwing out any guitars. So, uh, we'll get it fixed. It shouldn't take very long. If it's going to take very long, it might end up getting thrown out. But the gentleman gave me two guitars. One has got a bridge that's coming away from the back. This bridge is coming completely away, and I think. I told him it just wasn't worth fixing uh, for what he wanted to do with his daughter's learning guitar. So they bought another guitar, but they gave me the one that wasn't worth fixing. And I am going to bring it, fix it a bit and bring it up to tune and things like that. And if I don't give it away, I'll uh, sell it for a tenner or something like that for the animals. But that's about all I'm going to do with it. So I'm just tidying this up now and taking the dust off. And then I'm going to get a clamp. Would a single clamp do this? Let me just see if I have if the clamp's out. Georgie girl, you're not chewing. Tune the strings. <laughs> I have some clamps, but I don't think they're... No. But I have a special clamp, so let me go get my special clamp. Ho 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 I got a clamp for you. Ha 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 Like uh, Tim the Tomb Man Taylor. Have I got a clamp for you? So my intention is to squish glue in there and put this get over there. I haven't used this yet, this is the first time I've used it. And just put that on there and squish it together pretty gently because this is made of the cheapest materials. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. And I'm not going to be too gentle with it, you know, because it's it's on its last legs as far as I'm con last legs, like it's on its last legs as far as I'm concerned. So if it does for if it does the little, little bit of learning for the girl, I'll be quite happy with that. So have I got any have I got any wood glue left in this? I'm using every last drop I can because it's not cheap to look at that. Look how petite and gentle I'm being here. I'm gonna slather it over the edge too, so as it runs down the inside. And this is the best wood glue you can get. Yeah, there you go. Now, one thing that I'm just a little bit worried about is that might be a lump. So, right, okay. Georgie girl, you won't like this. She has come up. I think what I will do is she's come up to have a nosy. I'll just put a little cloth there to stop any scratches. No point in going daft on it and then just squeeze this up and not go mad on it either just squeeze it up look at that there look at the juice coming out 
and that will sit. Look at the juice coming out all over the sides. Ooh, lovely juice. Hey, get into focus. Look, did you did you see all the lovely juice coming down the sides? No, you didn't. What the hell with this focus? Hold on, sorry, Georgia girl. This thing's driving me nuts. This focus. Let me. Georgia girl's in my arms now. I wanted to show you that the juice running down the sides on both sides, and I guarantee that'll not come off again for at least another week. <laughs> I am trying to do this with one hand because Georgie Girl wants to sit in my arms. When I start talking to the camera, it's like she has to be... Oh no, she's up on my shoulders because I know she's lost interest. And she's now interested in the LED lights on the ceiling. Little bitch, but she can't get them because I'm leaning down so far. She's on my shoulder. She's sit let me just see if you can see her. She's on my shoulder. I don't know if you can see her or not. Right, okay. And just clean that up. And we leave that for 48 hours and come back. It's made in. It's made in. It's not just made, it's made in. It doesn't say where it's made in, but it's made in. All right, okay. This has to go away gently somewhere. Do you know what I'm going to do? Oh, okay. I put that down on the glue. Uh, stupid boga. I set it down the glue, wasn't thinking. It won't matter, it'll come off nice and easily anyway, but no point in going daft. Let's have a look and see what she's like on the other side. Yeah, she's okay. All right. Close the glue up. I'll take these strings off before I move her away because I won't get to the back storeroom because Georgie Girl will be attacking me left, right and center to get to these strings. Even though she's not playing with them now, she will attack me. She constantly attacks strings that are moving. This will be a nice little guitar to play. You read some reviews. Actually, there's more reviews on this little guitar than you probably find somewhere else. They say, it's the best little guitar I've ever bought. Great for throwing about and playing and keeping in tune. And others say, it's the biggest piece of crap I've ever bought in my life. But what do you expect for 30 or 40 quid? You know? Georgie Girl's hanging on to my sweater now. So it's as well I did take these this, these off because she would be torturing me. She's oh, she's pulling my she's pulling me apart. Georgia girl, go and play with the string. Go on. It's okay when she's climbing up your trousers and you've got big thick pair of trousers on, but it ain't so fun whenever you're just wearing ordinary everyday trousers. Fortunately, I've got a big thick pair on today. Right, this video should be about, I don't know anybody watch this video anyway, but this video, all I'm going to do next is after it's gone hard, I'm going to tune it, put a set of strings on it, and throw it back to the people who want it, and they can donate a tenner to a CC. And I'd be quite happy with that. That's the only reason I do this is because I want to get money for a CC. They do a wonderful job. The thing that I keep complaining about a CC is that their their donation system is too long and complicated. They want you to tick this box and tick that box. And, and I run a website for the Maltese Animal Sanctuary, and you fill in two two sections of the website and you make a donation. That's all you need to do. So why the, all the bureaucracy in the Northern Ireland, I don't know. But there you go. Well, there we go. This is the baby guitar that's only going to get a little touch-up. It's not an awful condition. And I glued the neck, so I'm just taking off the stress of the neck. Now, I thought it would be 48 hours. 
but it turns out it was nearly five days before I got back to it and it's back to being probably more solid than it was. So all I'm going to do for this little guitar is give it a clean, the frets, clean, clean up here, put a set of strings on it and tell daddy to come and pick it up. So I'll pause now and put a little bit of black around the edges to hide the scuffs. All right. This is going to be sped up because all I'm doing is giving it a polish. Oh, there's somebody at my door, excuse me. Well, that has to be the easiest neck fix ever. A slash of glue in there and you can hardly see it. And the strings are on, the frets are done, and the action's wonderful. And every, I've touched up the sides. And do you ever watch those, uh, those things on YouTube where the runner's running towards the line and he starts to celebrate and he turns around to look at the others and when he turns around he leaves us a second and the other guys slip past him? Well, guess what? When I was celebrating, I looked at here and I thought, what's that little line? And it turns out that little line is the body coming away from the, the guitar. So I'm going to slather. It looks like a pretty strengthful fix. Yeah, I'm going to slather some, slather some tight bond in there, put the clamp on it. And it might actually be the whole way around the guitar. But I can't. There might be just a crack there. I think you probably just see it. Don't my camera will focus on that. That's a crack, I think. So it's been dropped, and I see some more touching up I have to do. So I'll slather that, stop celebrating, and then show you the finished guitar whenever I finished. But it's uh, almost in shame. Now pay careful attention because this is highly technical, right? And it takes hours to do. Stick a screwdriver in there, stick your finger in it, slather the glue in. You can see I'm a professional, can't you? Slather the glue in there. Now, is Jerry, is Jerry being sick at the moment? Jerry from Rosa? Or is this one of his little tricks that he doesn't tell people? Jerry, are you watching? No, I don't think you are, Jerry. <laughs> Thank goodness. Right, okay, so good old tight bond, don't have a tissue, get rid of all that, I'm sure there's some dripping in the inside, and then just get the clamps on it, little tiny clamps, and we got some squeak through and we'll probably give that another 48 hours I've got several guitars on the go so that's as tight as I want it to go let me just move that one down a bit down to there and then get a tissue and remove the squeeze through clean up. If you don't clean up now you'll end up cleaning up for a lot longer. If you don't clean it up and do it now you, you'll be tempted to say oh gosh I've done that. Let's get away from it as quickly as possible. But if you do you could be end up cleaning up and scratching and scraping and things like that for hours if you don't do it now. So I'm going to get a little wet wipe and clean this up now so that I don't have to clean it for hours later because this is a little 10 pound guitar which is probably worth 9 pound now and uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of water I think this was going in the bin so I did a little favor to it to let it survive for a little longer it's actually the action is so nice I, uh, I'm surprised uh, best action I've seen on one of these little nylon strings guitars for a long time. 
but maybe I haven't tested it yet. Maybe there's a lot of buzz. So, right, okay. Little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. And then I'll come back to it in 48 hours. Okay? That's not a crack. That's going to get a little bit of... Let's just do it now. Why wait for spring? Do it now, eh? It's indelible marker. Nothing exciting. And I'm going to have to run it over that whenever it dries because there's a hairline crack there. Alright, that's it. There you are, less than 10 hours later. And I'm going to take this off. Give it a clean. And send it back to Daddy and Mommy. Right. There's a little bit of... Just came off with the thumbnail. Lovely, lovely, grubbly, chubbly. Can't see it, but I can feel it. What are you doing, girl? Look at the sides. No, there's nothing there. And I'm going to just run a little bit of indelible, what do you call it, sharpies? I'm going to run a sharpie. going to check the tuning, give it a couple of strums, not going to do a complete demo on it, I'm just going to do a couple of strums on it, oh I've not closed the blinds, so the, the uh, this is going to be hard to tune to, the action's not bad, the action's not bad on it. These are very cheap strings. Take ages to get settled in. They will take ages to get settled in. That's it. That's going home. But that'll just have to keep because the knots will have to tighten up, the string will have to stretch. I'll be doing that forever if I kept on going. So that's it going home. Say goodbye to it. Going back to its child because a little child runs owns this now. Hello everyone, it's Kelly Mahari with Dogs Live Ambassadors, Molly and Jill. And today we're in the Hop House in Bangor for their first official doggy day with all money going to a CC animal sanctuary. So we're gonna go and speak to Dan, the man. He is the manager, he organized all this. Oh, hello everybody. There are lots of doggies. <laughs> let's see, hi. Right, come on girls, let's go and say hello to everyone. So this is Dan. Hi. Yes, and tell me how did all this come about? Did you organize all this? Uh, yes, yeah, so I started here about six weeks ago. And, uh -huh. uh, we're dog friendly. We're trying to sort of bring people in during the day, all the dog walkers and that sort of stuff. Yep. See, see we're having a bit of a rough patch, that yes. complaints and stuff. So kind of put two, two together, and I thought it'd be a fundraiser. Very good. Some dogs in the bar, and uh, yeah. Very and good, and, and it's here we are. and it all kicked off at twelve today, didn't it? Yeah, it's yep. so we're three hours deep. Now, Very and, good. Uh, sort of four more hours to go, and then live music all day after that as well. Great. So. Yeah, yeah. What's happening next? What's the next thing on the uh, schedule? The next thing on the schedule, all the dogs are out for a walk now, or maybe 50% of them. 
maybe back in about half an hour. And uh -huh. the boys setting up here, they're doing an all vinyl set. Very um, good. So that's going to run from 3 o'clock. Great, until great. So very nine, good. Nine hours of vinyl music, so oh, it be fun. That will be fun. And yeah, more yeah. doggies on the way. Yes, so plenty more coming. We're going to go and have a wee look to see what's happening. Yes, we'll head this way. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Lots of doggy friends. Oh, hi. <laughs> So we're just gonna head this way. See what's sight here. Oh, lots of doggies there. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. There we go, girls. Where are we now? Where are we now? So we're heading up the back here because there's some of these stalls for all the doggies. Come on girls, this way. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Oh look, there's a lovely doggy. Oh, we'll get some oh, good water on the way in. That's it, we pint of water. Hello. Oh look, hi. Hello gorgeous. Oh, and who's this? Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, yes. Oh, good. Oh, look. And as you can see, lots of doggy toys and treats. Oh, wow. And we were, there's Barkalicious Bakes. That's our friends from Lisburn. Yes, let's have a wee look to see all there is. Thank you so much. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, there's lovely Tony. <laughs> Back again. Aren't we? Yes. Look, I know. So let's see. Oh, you've got, oh, the girls' favourites. Wow. Let's have a look. What else is happening? Oh. And we've got bandanas and balls. And look. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look. Hello. <laughs> Did you get a wee treat? Did you? Did you get a wee treat? Oh, you're lovely. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I just did some filming for Dogs Live. Okay. Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. I, I'm Kelly. <laughs> oh, right, right. Oh, these are great. Oh, so lovely. <laughs> there we go. And these are the guys from Assisi. Hello. And look, there's my wee friend. Hello. So just, I'm just going to ask you guys, what, do you, what does it mean when people t put on events like this? Oh, it's like, it's really fun for us. Yeah. Obviously, it takes all the hard work out. Yes. And, um, means that we can raise awareness as well as money. Yeah. And then we can change lives. Oh look, yeah, so who is the, who is this wee one? <laughs> oh hi! It's a little tripod, won't you? Uh-huh, aw. Oh. Oh look. Aw. Oh. Special. You special boy? <laughs> He's just saying hello. Yes. So this is great. So you've got a wee stall as well set up. Very good. Very good. But at the day, it's just going to get noisier and more fun, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look. Hello. Hello. <laughs> see, going this way. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, <God>. Hello. <laughs> Oh, there's my girls getting cuddles. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Hi, are you having a fun day? <laughs> are you? Okay, well, I'll be coming back live in about half an hour when all the doggies come back from their walk. <laughs>